Hello grade 7 students, today I will be discussing special products and the first one will be the product of sum and difference of two terms. So the product of sum and difference of two terms, which is our first term uh, will be a plus b times the product of the difference of the same terms, which is a minus b, is the difference of the squares of the two terms. So here, as we multiply the quantity of a plus b and the quantity of a minus b, as you can see, uh, if we're going to use full method or distributive method, we will arrive with the answer, which is a difference of two squares, which is just by getting the square of the first term and the square of the second term. Okay, so again, as we multiply the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x minus y. So as you can see, the first expression is a sum and the second expression or the second binomial is a difference. So the product of the sum and difference of two terms will be the difference of the square. So in short, the difference of the square of the first term, which is your x. So the square of x is x squared. And then, the square of the second term, which is y, so y squared. So, I'll repeat, the product will be the difference of two squares. So, let us have some examples. Okay, number one, what is the product of the quantity of x plus 5 and x minus 5? So, as you can see, as we check, the first expression is a sum and the second expression is a difference and both of the terms are the same. So therefore, we can apply here the special product which is the sum and difference of two terms by just simply multiplying the first terms. Okay, so that will be x times x which, which, which is x squared and multiplying the second term which is 5 times negative 5 the answer will be negative 25 and that will be our final answer or another shortcut way is to simply square the first term that will be x squared and the square of 5 which is 25 and i'll repeat the final answer should always be in subtraction because again the answer as we multiply uh, the sum and difference of two terms should always be a difference of two squares okay next example uh, the quantity of 4x minus 9 times the quantity of 4x plus 9 so again looking at the first expression it's subtraction and on the second expression it's addition and the terms first term and the second uh, and the second terms are the same so therefore we can apply the shortcut here by just multiplying the first terms so 4x times 4x the answer is 16x squared minus 9 times 9 which is 81 and that will be your final answer i'll repeat this one or this shortcut or this special product is only applicable if uh, the expressions have the same uh, terms at the same time opposite in sign in short the first binomial will be an addition or subtraction and the second binomial will be the opposite operation of it Okay, so please do remember. Next example. Multiply 2x plus 3y and 2x minus 3y. So again, the first expression is addition. The second expression is in subtraction. Uh, terms are the same. So we just need to have a shortcut here by multiplying the first term. So 2x times 2x. The answer is 4x squared and then 3y times 3y the answer is 9y squared and that will be your final answer so here as you can see uh, the final answer we don't have any more like terms so therefore we cannot any uh, we cannot simplify it okay so next example how about the product of x squared minus 4 and x squared plus 4 so just simply multiply x squared and x squared which will give us x raised to 4 and then multiply 4 and 4 will have 16. So again different so that's why the final answer will be x raised to 4 minus 16 there. Okay so it's your turn. Okay but I will still help you to answer it. Okay so as we multiply 6x plus 1 and 6x minus 1. So that will be 6x times 6x will have 36x squared. And 1 times 1, the answer is 1. So minus 1. 
So, I'll repeat. You can use uh, the shortcut by simply squaring the first term. So, the square of 6x, it means 6x times 6x, which will give us 36x squared. And the square of 1, which is 1. And for the last example, what is the product of 3 uh, of x minus 3y and x plus 3y? So, just multiply x and x. So, we'll have x squared. And then 3 3y uh, times 3y will have negative 9y squared. So, that will be our final answer. So, that's it. That will be the first special products, which is the product of sum and difference of two terms. So, I'll repeat. Uh, in getting the product of sum and difference of two terms, we just need to square the first term, subtract it to the square of second term. Okay? Which will give us the difference of two squares. That's it. Thank you for watching grade 7. See you again next time.